If you have been waiting for merchandise based on Spider-Man No Way Home that features all three Spider-Men, the good news is that it's about to hit stores really soon. But this isn't the only good news. As a matter of fact, we have way better news I'm going to talk about in this in regards to what this means for the future of the entire live-action Spider-Verse. So before we get into what this means and why it's important, we're going to look at all three pieces of art. And we're going to start with the one that opened up the video, which of course is all three Spider-Men. And right here, it obviously says Spider-Men. We see the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, we see Spider-Man Tom Holland's, and the amazing Spider-Man. This also carries over into another piece of art, which you can see right here. And the most important thing is the first two look like they're going to be on like uh, t-shirts and possibly calendars. This one right here is a poster that you can expect to hit stores on, um, you know, your local Walmarts, Kohl's, wherever you find posters, you're going to see things like this. Now, obviously, this also is a huge paradigm shift in terms of what this means for Spider-Man merchandise as a whole, because this is Disney putting out this merchandise. Now, some of you might not understand what I'm talking about here, why this is significant, because it is this actually fundamentally changes everything we know about Spider-Man merchandising rights and how they relate to these films. So what I mean by this is, in years past, it was near impossible to get a new Tobey Maguire hot toy or an action figure or anything to feature that character in the comics because Disney was not allowed to. There was still licensing rights tied into those costumes, how they were designed, who they were associated with, the people that signed off on them, Avi Arad, Amy Pascal. So it was near impossible. Now that we're seeing this means that everything has been figured out, which means new merchandise based on these films can be produced. What I'm telling you now is that things like Marvel Legends figures based on the Amazing Spider-Man and the Spider-Man trilogy can happen. So a brand new Green Goblin, based on No Way Home and on Spider-Man 1 can be produced and distributed and sold by Disney in Disney stores and wherever else you find action figures, you know, your Walmarts or whatever. Again, this literally changes the entire game for what Disney can do now with merchandising and where they can put these characters. And I assume this is just the start of the partnership between everybody to have to sign off to deliver even more. And I will not be surprised if we start seeing even more products. Um, you know, Marvel has been known to go in and start doing concept art things. There's tons of concept art for the previous films as well that would sell a lot. So, you know, I think you got to consider that. Reissues of classic figures and updates, I think, are a given. Um, this right here, seeing this merchandise and the fact that we are getting it and that it didn't leak and wasn't officialized till now makes me think that something recently happened that changes everything, which honestly is gonna be huge. So um, get your wallets ready, especially if you're somebody like me who's gonna be after those hot toys because it's gonna be costly. <laughs> 